Yes, people, how are we all doing? So, some amazing news to share with you all. Amazing news from my side, anyways. I'm finally free from my IPP. And it feels as though I've just been released from prison. I've had this sentence for 19 years. And everyone that has been following my channel from the start, and even the ones that have just joined more recently, a lot of you already know that I was actually serving IPP out here in the community. And the ones that are new to the channel, and the ones that have just come across this video now, IPP stands for Imprisonment for Public Protection, and it is a 99-year sentence. And only recently, there's a lot been happening with the IPPs, where the ones out in the community, out on licence, they're trying to get them off them, to try to get the numbers down of the IPPs. And the IPP was abolished in 2012 because it was deemed inhumane. But everyone that was already sentenced to the IPP was kept on it, and I was one of them. But only until last week, my IPP is now terminated. And a lot of people say, well, or some people might not think of it as a big deal. Only the people that has actually served an IPP and the ones who were serving it and they've had it terminated. But I am going to mention the 90 plus that killed themselves inside of prison serving IPP. They couldn't, they didn't have the strength to go on any longer. They kept getting knockbacks and they eventually took their own lives. So rest in peace to all them poor souls that thought the only way of getting out of that prison was by killing themselves and leaving in a body bag. And that's not to mention the ones out here <clears throat> on license who's killed themselves in fear of recall because as it was deemed inhumane, that's exactly what the sentence is. And it's come to an end of an era, an end of a chapter for me. My new chapter is starting as a free man. And like I've mentioned, when you get out of prison, you're a free person when you get out of prison, but you're never completely free for as long as you're on license and only the ones serving it or the ones who have been out on license, even prisoners that have gotten out and served a normal license out in the community will not understand the severity of an IPP license hanging over your neck like a ton of weight, dragging you down in every instance. That is how I describe it. Now that rock has been lifted off my back, I can feel, I feel like a new person. And for all the, the remaining ones who are due, there's thousands, I think there's, it's nearly in the thousands who are due to have their license terminated on the 1st of November. Good luck to you all. Don't look back with regret. Look forward to the future. Get on with your life. Because there is a lot of things that I had in my mind what I was wanting to say and broadcast on here when I was off license. But I'm not going to consume my channel with negative negativity when I'm moving forwards in life. There is things I'm going to do separate videos talking about certain things. But for this video, I'm not coming on to talk negative. This is a positive thing for me. The biggest thing in my life, my family's life, everyone who's involved with me knows how big of a deal this is. So I'm coming on to spout positivity. <laughs> but um, yes, I was took off the license last week. I had a parole hearing and it was terminated by the parole board. But even if that parole, head wasn't, parole hearing wasn't going ahead, I would have been off it on the 1st of November anyways. But it feels to me more like a win and a reward getting off it from the parole board because I've been knocked back on numerous occasions by the parole board and got knocked back last year I had a hearing and it got deferred for an oral hearing because probation weren't recommending me for release well not release but for termination but it feels like release to me that's probably why I'm speaking like that but probation weren't backing me they weren't recommending my license to be terminated but I'll leave that one for another video and go into detail with that one more. But they weren't recommending me to come off license. And the parole board couldn't understand why. So the parole board said they wanted an oral here and they wanted my side of the story. 
and they wanted to know why they weren't recommending me for termination. But in the end, the parole panel decided that I no longer needed this IPP license and it was terminated. So as of last week, I'm not in fear of recall. I can't go back to prison for not committing an offence. Obviously, if you commit a further offence, you go to the courts, then you go to prison. But that won't be happening. I'm moving forward in my life and getting on with my life. But I have got loads more to talk about, but I'm just keeping this basic for the viewers just to let you know that I'm actually off it. But being on that license for, I've had the sentence for 19 years, believe it or not. I committed the offence when I was 20 years old. I'm now 39 and I'm just so pleased I'm offered by the age of 40 because half of my life I've lived with for this. And I'm not coming on here to see a poor me, poor me. I've had the sentence, I've survived the sentence, I'm getting on with me like, I'm not coming to come across as the victim that I've been on it for 19 years, it was unjust, I didn't deserve it, I'm not coming on here to do all that. It is what it is, I'm now off the license, so fuck yeah. <laughs> and I'm not being arrogant doing that, I'm just uh, having a little bit of banter. But 19 years, I was on... Well, I'm on license for around about 12 years. For nearly seven years, I served in prison. I went back in on a recall after I'd been out for nearly 10 years. And I served 14 months back in on my recall. And I've been out coming up to four years. But a lot of you watching who's new to the channel will be thinking, I want to know what you were in prison for. So I will give a brief description about why I was in prison and what I got the IPP for because the new subscribers and viewers to my channel won't know and I can imagine if you're watching this video you'll be thinking well I'm dying to know what he was in for so I got me IPP when I was 21 I'd done the offence when I was 20 and me I had my 21st birthday in a young offenders prison and then when I went to Durham Crown Court got found guilty of the offence and I was sentenced to IPP so the offence was a Section 18, which is GBH, with intent. And that was on another male in my local area. And the reason behind the attack was this person attacked my sister a week previously. They were in my sister's house. He attacked my sister, beat her up. My sister ran me up, screaming down the phone, crying her eyes out, saying she'd been done in off this lad. So I immediately ran out looking for the lad, but the police had actually came and took him away. The police had been called and he got took away, so I couldn't get to him. And about a week later, I was sitting in my sister's house and this same person rang up, griefing my sister down the phone, sending threats. So me, being me, took that threat personal and I took the threat to him. I went to his house, I kicked his door in, and I ran in with a machete and began setting about him with the machete. He, he survived the attack. It wasn't a, a murder, attempted murder charge. It was just wanting to inflict injuries on this person because of what he'd done to me sister. And I've never been one of these that's ever had attacked any innocent victim. I've been violent in my past before my younger years when I was under the age of 20, before I got this sentence. The environment I grew up in, the place I grew up in, and it was just, not just, but it was uh, it was very common around my areas, around Stanley, County Durham, to rough little mining village, and we were surrounded by little towns in County Durham, and they're all rough little villages, or towns, sorry, whatever you, the villages, but the town centres, so you had like concert in Stanley, and it is full of rough people, but this offence, like I've mentioned, I've never attacked or hurt an innocent person. When I used to have fights or go out drinking, it was always someone who was like-minded, someone I knew, someone that wanted a bit of beef. And it was always for a reason. It wasn't just like I've mentioned, I keep saying it, but I've never attacked an innocent person. Like a lot of people have said, well, what about that innocent person? Because I've done podcasts, and in the comments on the podcasts, 
People have said, well, what about that innocent person that you chopped up with a machete? In my eyes, he wasn't an innocent person. He was someone who was capable of violence. He was a smackhead, a heroin user. He was out robbing people. He was out burgling people. He's not a very well-liked person. He beat me sister up. He was sending threats down the phone, shouting at me on the phone, threatening me. So that, in my eyes, isn't an innocent person. But obviously I haven't been able to come on here and talk like this whilst I've been on licence because as much as though, even if I was talking about this like I am now, whilst on licence, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just talking about the case and letting people know about it. But the psychology of being on the IPP, you dare not talk about certain things because you think to yourself, the anxiety gets to you thinking, shit, I'm going to get recalled to prison for speaking about this. I don't look like I'm showing remorse or um, I'm acting in a violent manner. So these are all the things that you've got to deal with when you're on IPP. And like I've mentioned, even if I was saying this now while still on licence, it's not something I could get sent back to prison for because all I'm doing is speaking the truth about what happened and how I felt about the situation. So I'm not coming on here promoting hatred or violence or anything like that because I'm not like that now. I'm speaking about the past, what I was like back then. And giving you all an insight because you watch my channel for me because of the way I tell stories and the person who I am. So I'm coming on here, being transparent and letting you know exactly what I was in prison for. But previous to this, I was also involved in another fight at a house party with another male. And it did get out of hand and the, the other person was seriously hurt. So that I was on bail for that offence when I committed the, the other offence. And again, I'm not coming on here to promote any type of violence. I'm telling people the straight facts. And I was in a house party, had an altercation with another lad. We got into it and he came off worse. But what I will say about that offence is when I think back, about the lad, it was unjust, and I do feel remorse for the fella, and if he's watching, because he probably will be, because uh, there's any amount of people watching me channel, not just the lovers, the haters, the trolls, probation, police, everyone's watching them, guys, go into probation, and they said they'd been watching me channel. They did actually half try and get us to stop me channel, but I continued with it. And, like I've mentioned, there's coppers watch me channel, there's other probation officers, I've had good feedback from probation officers, but I have got probation officers that were in the office where I was situated that used to watch the channel. And you could tell they didn't like me being on here talking. But that's another story for another day. And getting back to it, that was my two offences that I was serving the IPP for. And I'm not proud of these attacks. I'm not promoting anything i'm not bigging myself up i'm not coming on here saying i was a hard violent man i'm just coming on to tell you the straight facts and that's the road my life went down i was sentenced to four years ipp went to young offenders then i went to durham prison then i went to hmp franklin which was a maximum security prison then i went up to hmp acklington the the now one big prison in old northumberland acklington and castleton and I got released from there after serving just over five years. And I got out, changed my mindset, changed my life. And I was out for nearly 10 years and I got recalled back to prison for being involved in the purchase of a stolen car. And that's what I got recalled back to prison for. And I spent 14 months in prison, being back out, getting on with my life, putting everything behind us. I'm in a new chapter of my life now and I'm not that person I was back then, as you can all see by the videos on my channel. And I'm now a free person. I don't have to worry about speaking my mind or saying what I want, because IPPs are like this. We can't, sp I keep saying we because it's going to take some adjusting to, because I've only recently gotten off and I've been on license for so long. But I will speak for the remaining ones, us IPPs can't have freedom of speech. You get sent back to prison by saying something that you want, something that's not a criminal offence, but if you have a bit of speech, you can't, there's no such thing as freedom of speech for IPPs. You can't speak, you can't open your mind 
open your mouth and speak what's on your mind rather because you're in fear of recall and you will be recalled if probation don't like something that you say you will be recalled to prison because probation have got the power of what the judges and magistrates have although they haven't got the power to give you a term of, in jail they've got the power to recall you take you off the streets away from your family and put you in prison so that's the power that probation has over you and a lot of the time you're in fear of recall even though you're not doing anything wrong you have sleepless nights something that you might have said to someone or during the day or something or even me being on here i've done videos previously when i'm thinking about what i've said when i'm talking about a certain prisoner or something and i'm thinking if probation's watching this or they're going to recall us i've said something i've done nothing wrong but your mind's in overdrive and only ipps or lifers will ever comprehend what i'm talking about but yes that's uh, that's what i wanted to come on and share i didn't rehearse anything but i've said apart from the fact i was coming on to let you know about me massive massive announcement massive for me and me and my wife are away on holiday to celebrate being free together but i won't be celebrating with drink and drugs like i used to in the past um because before i went to prison when i was 20 in my teenage years and i always used to think celebrations used to involve drink and drugs but now I'm in a different mindset. For me to go back on the drink, it can't send you back in a downward spiral and it's not a good place to be. I've got too many good things in my life, too much to look forward to in the future, to fuck it up by drinking alcohol and being a dickhead and getting into trouble. It's just not something I want to do now. And there is questions that people say is, Will you ever go back to prison or would you go back to prison? Someone that's lived my lifestyle and someone that's still got that same persona inside. And I don't mean persona as in a dickhead, drinking, fighting. I mean, if someone, when I've been asked that question, will you go back to prison? Not directly, will you go back? Or would you do anything to end up back in prison? I'll be doing everything in my power not to go back to prison that's not something i want in my life like i mentioned i've got too many good things i've got a wife and four beautiful children who look up to me who want me to be the perfect role model for them and i am being that person i've got me gym i've got a book i do pts i've got a boot camp i do speeches on here i've been in the schools i've got a mental health group in me gym and I've got loads of plans for the future, so I'm not going to jeopardise all of this by being an idiot on the drink, going out and getting into trouble, and end up back in prison. When you'll be sitting in there thinking, fucking hell, what have I done? Here to do it all over again, when no, I've been there, done that, I'm in a different mindset, and here's to the future. But anyways, I hope, hope everyone enjoyed that bit talk. I will be doing longer videos like this, if you want to hear some and see some, let us know in the comments. But I've got loads of things that I'm going to be talking about, like I've just mentioned. I won't flood this video with any negative shit. But there is going to be a couple of videos that I'm going to speak about a few different topics where I will open my mind and speak about how I felt and how... In fact, I'll not go into it. <laughs> just keep watching for the next videos, people. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.